Hey there everyone, welcome back to Jimothy Listens. My name is Jimothy and I need to close my door. Because if one of my housemates comes home and hears me talking about K-pop to myself, it's the end for me. <laughs> anyway, and today we are talking about the new Blackpink album, Born Pink. Now, I tried to film a reaction to this, but YouTube said, no, you can't post that. We love copyright. Just let me do it. Just let me, like, I understand there's like laws and stuff, but like, come on. So instead we're gonna do a little, just like talking review discussion. I will edit in clips of my reactions just enough to not get my family murdered by the copyright lawyers. And yeah, we're just gonna, gonna have a little discussion about this new Blackpink album. So I I was very excited for this. I love Blackpink. Blackpink are the first K-pop I ever really got into. Like I say that, oh, I got into K-pop last year through like twice, but I have been listening to Blackpink since like 2018. So they kind of, they paved the way. And I really, I really like Blackpink. So I was very excited to hear about them finally making a comeback two years after their last release. In the lead up to the release, we got a kind of pre-release teaser single, Pink Venom. I, I have a reaction to that, which if you want to watch, you can go do that. I think when I first watched it in the reaction, I was like, oh yeah, no, it's not bad. I was kind of not skeptical, but I wasn't like in love with it. Over time, I'm, I'm in love with it. I really like that song. Like I was the same as everyone else when I, that chorus, I was not a fan of. I, I like it now. It's catchy. I still think, I think that the way to make that chorus really hit is just to pitch it up, like make it a hundred gex style chipmunk voice and that chorus would go off and I would love it forever. But the song itself is, yeah, really good, really fun. And so it had me very excited for this album. Very, very excited for this album. And so, you know, finally it came out. We got into it. We listened to it. The lead, I can't call it a lead single. Pink Venom is the lead single. It's not a title track because it's not the name of the album. The kind of, the kind of main track that you know, got a music video with the release of the album is shut down. And, you know, I went into that first being the the main track and my reaction was a little something like this. Okay, I mean, I love that violin right off the bat and the like 6-8 beat. That's... Ah, oh, this is tasty. Yeah, this is, this is a bop. This is so good. So yeah, as you can see, I like it. I think Shut Down is a phenomenal song. It, oh, it's so good. I honestly think Shut Down is one of the best songs Blackpink has ever done. That violin in the like 6-8 beat is just so addictive. The raps are cool and just oozing in charisma. The flow, I really like, like a triplet flow on a 6-8 beat is just something that I absolutely love. I, it's delicious. And so this song is made for me. I think it's so cool. I think it's so fun. The chorus is great. Everything about Shut Down is just, it's a winner. It's really, really good. And so with those two songs being the first two songs on the album, I was like, we're in for, we're in for a winner. We're in for nonstop bangers. And that continues into the next track, Type of Girl. This pre-chorus? Heaven! Of the swearing in my good Christian K-pop music. Type of Girl is kind of similar to Shut Down. It's a bit more of a stripped back, kind of very rap heavy song. It has a fun beat with that kind of like buzzy synth. It almost seems to be like emulating a horn a little bit, but that's very like fun. And so yeah, Type of Girl, also quite good, quite fun, but it's just like a slightly worse version of Shut Down. Similar to Shut Down, very simple, repetitive beat with cool raps over top. And I feel like Shut Down does it better, but still I'm like, you know, type of girl's a banger as well. Just give me some, give me some variation. Give me some variety throughout the rest of the album. And unfortunately they did that. Why is that unfortunately when it's what I was asking for? Because the variations are worse than just doing the same thing over and over again. It's interesting, like going into this album, I very much 
was hoping that Blackpink were going to do something new. After two years of not releasing anything and, you know, sort of being one of the biggest groups in K-pop today, like, in those two years that Blackpink didn't release anything, there were a lot of, like, copycats, essentially, but people doing that Blackpink sound, and you could even argue doing it better, or at least, like, making improvements or expanding on the sound. And so if Blackpink were to come back now and just release the stuff that they had been doing before, it might sound a bit like dated or a bit stale. And so I think they definitely needed to do something new and switch it up, which I think Shutdown does that amazingly. The rest of the album, they do that, but it actually just ends up kind of not being as good. Where are we going with this? I wish the chorus went a bit harder, sort of vocally, like the synths are nice, but then there's, it's just kind of the synths and there's not really doing anything over the top. Yeah 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 is kind of a breezy, laid back synth pop kind of vibe. And like, it's cute, I don't mind it, but it's not, it's not really what I want to he be hearing Blackpink doing. Like Blackpink are always at their best when they're doing full out aggressive hard hitting stuff and so for this which is kind of just a bit more like poppy and laid back it's it's nice but it's not really anything special or that exciting hard to love is actually one of the better b-sides in my opinion that's nice little groovy funky big rose vocals is this just like a rose solo track this is better than Rosé's other solo stuff, but it's kind of strange that it's just a Rosé solo track that's been thrown into the middle of the album. None of the other members have a solo track, they've just gone, sure, Rosie, here, have, like, have your own song in there. Which, I mean, I don't mind, it's, I honestly think it's better than Rosé's other solo stuff. But again, it's kind of a more, like, laid-back, poppy kind of thing, which is, I mean, what you would expect Rosé to be doing, but it's not really that, like, black, pink, grit and toughness and energy that is the reason that we, or I shouldn't say we, but the reason that I like the group so much. Like, it's a nice song, but it's, again, it's not really that exciting. The Happiest Girl is just a straight up piano ballad. Piano ballad? Piano ballad? Black pink. You're better than this. Okay, no, I'm gonna shut up. This is really pretty. Is this gonna go somewhere? What did you just say there? Hang on a second. Can I get the lyrics for this song? No. Jisoo did say all it takes is a little rolling paper. Take us to the start. Is the Korean audience gonna be happy with a, a weed reference? If you've seen any of my content before, hate a ballad. Hate a ballad, not a ballad person at all. To be honest though, The Happiest Girl is actually really pretty. The Happiest Girl is gorgeous. Once again, it's just not really <laughs> what I want Blackpink to be doing, but I actually, I respect it because it is very, very nice. The vocals sound gorgeous. The, just everything about it is really, really pretty. I think if the rest of the album had have been super exciting and fun, I would appreciate The Happiest Girl more, but because the rest of the album is just kind of blander, less interesting things, The Happiest Girl being like the slowest one out of all, I'm like, that's a spot that could have gone to something actually fun. There's more, The Happiest Girl isn't bad on its own, but it just kind of, in the context of the rest of the album, just continues to drag down the energy. Then from there we have Tally, which is the last of the new tracks, and Tally is honestly my least favourite song on the album. It's weird because Tally has a cool sound to it. When I first heard it, I thought... Okay, I'm into it. It's kind of a little bit like dirty messy sounding. Like those drums sound nice, the guitar's got a bit of like tooth to it, which is cool. I, again, I wish this went somewhere. Like, this is a really nice, kind of like cool sound. Just like, go a bit crazier with it. Make it a bit more Blackpink. Like, that started off really interesting and then just kind of went nowhere. Like, yeah, I thought that it had a pretty cool sound to it. I like the kind of like rougher guitar feel, but then it just doesn't go anywhere, which is really unfortunate. It kind of, 
the first 30 seconds is like, oh, this is cool. And then it's just that for the rest of the song and doesn't build on it, doesn't do anything to do extra. It just kind of goes, oh yeah, we've got a decently cool sound, just ride that. It just feels a little bit lazy. It was at that moment that I realized that's kind of what every song on this album is. Even the good ones are a cool sound that is then just written out for the rest of the song because they go, yeah, sure, that'll make a song. Like, The Happiest Girl, I found it interesting with The Happiest Girl. I even said it when I was listening to it. Like, if you're gonna do a piano ballad, you can kind of have it, like, crescendo. But it feels like you kind of, like, hit the peak at, like, 30 seconds into it, which would make me think that you're only gonna do, like, maybe 45 seconds of that and then, like, break into something else. But the fact that we're now almost two minutes into this makes me think that it's just gonna be this. Like, they don't give themselves any room to do anything with it. Like. I'm saying for the rest of the songs, it's a nice sounding 30 seconds that then just continues for the rest of the song. Hard to Love is pretty similar. Yeah, yeah, yeah does that as well. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah is different in that it's not the first 30 seconds that it then just repeats. It's kind of like the, the second 30 seconds. You get like an intro and then from the first chorus, you go like, oh, that's doing something. And then it's that for the rest of the song. Even Type of Girl is the same beat for the whole song. Actually, no, Type of Girl kind of switches it up on the end. So that is slightly exempt. But Shut Down is the same beat for the whole song. It just happens that I really like the beat, so I don't mind it as much. Pink Venom is really the only song that actually like does something different and switches things up. And then we have Ready for Love on the end, which was the like PUBG promotional track. And I think it's actually, it's a fun little bop. It's not anything really that special, but you know, it's a bop. It's a fun, bright kind of like summery pop song. And so I like it. Like I'm not super attached to it or in love with it or anything, but it's, it's fun. It's a bit of fun. It's a vibe. Overall, this album, it just feels a bit, oh, it feels harsh to say lazy, but yeah, I don't know. When I said that I wanted Blackpink to switch up their sound, I didn't want them to switch up their kind of ethos. What made Blackpink's music so exciting back in, you know, 2018 for me was the fact that they took all of these different sounds from different places and meshed them together and you would have sections of songs, like you'd have a pre-chorus that sounds like a damn country ballad that would then go into like a stadium EDM kind of chorus and then like a rap verse and it would just be like all of these different things coming together and you never knew what to expect. So I kind of, I still wanted it to have that feeling of like anything could happen, anything is possible, just like huge, like amazing songs, but I just, they needed to switch up from the kind of big bassy girl crush sound that everyone's doing at the moment. Instead, they kind of switched up the sound and also switched up the approach to song making, which I don't like it as much. Like I still, I don't think this album's horrible or anything. I don't even think there are really any like bad songs. I think there's just a lot of missed potential. Like you look at something like Pink Venom, which has a lot of cool moments, even if the chorus is a bit iffy, you have, you know, that second verse that suddenly drops into like a old school hip hop beat. Give me more of that. You've got just all of these cool things. Like I already said that Shut Down, I think is one of Blackpink's best songs. I think if you sort of towards like the bridge and the end, just added in even more elements and kind of fucked with it a little bit, it would could be like just the best K-pop song ever made, or like the best song ever made. Like that song has so much potential that even though I'm on, like, even though for me that song is like a nine out of 10, I'm like, it could be like an 11. Type of Girl, kind of tries to do something on the back end, but could go further with it. And then everything else, yeah, is just, there's no ambition. There's no ambition. It's very complacent, which is unfortunate, but I guess it's kind of like, what did we expect from a group that it took two years for them to even make anything? You think they're gonna, like, you think they were spending that time going, we're gonna make the best album anyone's ever heard? No. <laughs> they've gone oh, okay it's been two years i guess we should let the girls drop something let's just we've got all of these kind of demo beats sure just make them into full songs that's kind of what it feels like which is disappointing but i still it's not like i think the album shouldn't have been released or anything 
I'm still glad to see Blackpink back, you know, making music. And I like the positives outweigh the negatives, like Pink Venom and Shut Down. Having just those two songs is worth having the other six kind of whatever songs. Overall, I'm not too unhappy because we have Pink Venom and Shut Down, but the album itself isn't really anything that incredible. My first impression score, I think in the original video I gave it a 7. I honestly think that's a bit too generous. I just really like Shut Down, which is why I want to give it a high score, but overall like a 6 out of 10. And that is where I will leave this for today. What do you think of this comeback? Let me know your thoughts and, you know, give me all of your hate comments in <laughs> the comments down below. Are the Blinks gonna eat me up for this one? Maybe, we'll see. If you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. And I will catch you for another video another time. Love you. That was a weird sound. And bye.